Hi, hey, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about the very ooh, chef's kiss series that is The Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Or A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I'm not sure what to say about that. So I very, very recently finished the series. So I started it, I want to say like two years ago or something like that. Um, I finished it. So let's go through them all. First off, we have the novella, the prequel novella, Killjoy. And then we have, for some reason I put them in the wrong order, we have A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, which is, blah, 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 which is book one. And then book two is Good Girl, Bad Blood. And then lastly, which is the book I just finished, uh, As Good As Dead. So let me just go through the books and then sort of sum up the whole series as a whole. Let's do that. So firstly, we have the prequels of our prequels. It is where we find out why Pip decides to do what she does in book one. <laughs> it does have a slight spoilery for book one so I would say read book one before you read the prequel if you want to read the prequel. I mean it doesn't necessarily give you much more information for like book one or like backstory. Well backstory is why she decides to do it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I want to say it's a necessary read, although it is a very good added bonus. It's like added bonus chef's kiss, chef's kiss added bonus. So it is very short and the font in it is also quite large. So not a lot. You can read this in like two seconds. Not, not literally, obviously. The topping of the cake. It is book one, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. This is the book of all books, and if you don't give this book five stars, do you even like books? I'm joking, I'm joking, obviously. But yes, this book is so hyped, and for good reason, for good reason, this book deserves everything. Five years ago, Sal murdered his girlfriend, Andy. The police knows he did it. Everyone in town knows he did it. But Pip, she does not believe he did it. So Pip chooses this as her final year project topic. So she goes about town being all Veronica Mars. Also, side note, if you don't know who Veronica Mars is, go get educated. Like, right now. Right now. So during her quest, Pip unravels so many things, some good things, some bad things. There are so many trails to follow, so many clues, and you are so hooked from page one that you can even know who done it. Who done it? Read the book to find out. And you know, without actually spoiling the book, we can safely assume that Pip does solve the case. Because, you know, it's a series. There's two more books after this one. Moving on to book number two. Good Girl, Bad Blood. So, this is the aftermath of book one. So, we have lots of things going on. We kind of still continue on following along the podcast that Pip starts in book one. Uh, but this time, instead of solving the murder, as it were, we are following along the court case of book one's solution. This book gets a lot darker from book one, and sadly, not as intriguing. Don't get me wrong, it's still a very good book, but it didn't hook me as much as the first one did. So, as I said, there's lots of things going on. We have the aftermath of book one, but at the same time, someone has gone missing! And Pip takes it upon herself to solve that case as well. I mean, they do kind of, like, contact her to help out. 
so it's not like she just decides to do it willy-nilly like book one but still sort of like that so like I said someone goes missing and the police won't do anything about it this town and its police are honestly I would not want to live there no they seem to be very incompetent <laughs> Court case going on, someone's gone missing, and along the way we get a lot more secrets popping up about the town and its residents and all that jazz. So, you know, good times. But yeah, not as great as the first book, kind of maybe middle book syndrome going on, but still a very, very good book. Just not that chef's kiss extra topping on the cake thing. But then we have book three and it is as good as dead. And just looking at the cover, you should get like slight inkling of that this book goes even darker. So we have the conclusion to the whole series and thinking of how it ends. I mean, I guess there could be like a sequel, but it wouldn't be the same, it wouldn't be the same. So Pip is not the same person as she was in previous books. And to top it all off, she's being stalked and getting death threats. Even worse than before. This feels different because it is different. And of course, the police in this town is utterly useless. So Pip has to take it into her own hands to figure out what's going on before, you know, she goes missing, or, you know, worse as she is being old veronica mars again she is starting to find connections to what's happening to her and like to a serial killer that was caught six years ago so is she seeing things where there are no things or did the wrong person get sent behind bars i can honestly say that this book gives you everything Ooh, it's, you did not expect from book one to end up like this, but it's, ooh, it's so good, it's nerve-wracking. And honestly, it couldn't have ended in any other way. I will say, though, that I did figure out who the serial killer is before Pip did, which makes me wonder if... Pip was being intentionally stupid or if I'm just very clever <clears throat> or you know if the author was just kind of wrapping things up a little too fast <laughs> so to wrap it all up this series gives you everything from Veronica Mars to how to get away with murder all the vibes all the mysteriousness the intrigue the murder <laughs> and Everyone should read at least book one because mm, so many good things, but you know, you will want to read the last one too. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So yeah, that is all for me about the series. Go read it. You will thank me if you haven't already read it. If you have read it, please do let me know what you thought about it because yeah, yes. That is all for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all next time. Until then, take care. Up a boy.